Good morning, guys. So <laughs> today I decided to do some chive and garlic salt since I'm totally out of my herb, garlic, and onion salt. And the only thing that I have a lot of, so like I was saying, the only thing I have a lot of in the garden is chive. And also I experimented with garlic last fall. I put a couple of cloves in, but and this is what I got. They're very small. I think it's because with them in an area was it was full sun. It was like partial shade, but I still wanted to experiment. And this is what I got. So this is going in the salt. I'm still really, really happy though. I can't believe I actually grew yeah, garlic. Like, tiny the clothes are. I'm just really excited about all the garden garden. So things. a million hours later. They're so cute, but that that was taking forever to peel tiny cloves of garlic. So I will blend this halfway and then add my salt. So here we have it. I also use a salt that I wasn't a big fan of and that 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 salt has been sitting in my pantry, I think for a long time now. So I figured I'll just add all those things. Okay, together. so here we have it. Isn't it incredible how with just a chive, the mixture is really wet, I guess because of the high water content in the chive. Let me show you. I mean, look, paste. It's totally different from my other herb salt that I have in another video, but it doesn't matter. This will be on a cookie sheet, and I will put it by my kitchen window and let it just Couple dry days. out. And uh, or you can put it in the oven to dehydrate okay, it. Here you go, and uh, you can see how nice and green this is. It's so exciting to be able to have some kind of salt that has some herbs and garlic in it but you can see not everything really and that's okay uh, in a couple days when it's completely dry I will run it again one last time in the food processor to have like really nice fine salt before I put it in my little salt so jar. don't forget none of that stuff is going bad because the salt will cure uh, the chive and the garlic and it would be perfectly fine. So that's it for today. Unless unless I film dinner. Oh no, wait. Dinner is already done. I actually um, cooked one of my broccoli and ham bake. One of my freezer meal. And um, if you haven't really seen good. that, uh, I have a video on freezer meal for two people. And it's super easy to assemble. And that's what we're having for dinner. So I'll see you next time, guys. Hi, guys. Bye. I wanted to add this quick recipe. So I am grilling some shrimp today and uh, in here has some black pepper, a little bit of chili oil and also we're having it with some broccolini and it's all going on. I'm also trying to use my herb, my chive salt, but it's not totally dry. Let me show you. So here it is. You can see like it's so hard. I mean, it's still kind of wet, but I'm still going to use a little bit of it on top of the shrimp and let that marinate for about... Mm, 30 minutes or so before I top Okay, it. so I added a little bit more um, Calibrian chili oil and some garlic powder, some onion powder, and you can see a little bit of salt here. So I just have to mix that and in 30 minutes we're grilling. Okay, so this is dinner and we also had some empanadas while we were grilling. So here it is. Hi guys, so it's been about five days now since I uh, made the chive and garlic salt and it took five days for the chive and garlic and everything to dry out so I just, if uh, you want to make garlic and chive salt chives take a long time to dry so I just blended everything back and this is what I have I could have blended it more fine but I didn't I wanted to kind of feel the salt between my fingers so it smells so good though i cannot wait to try this i really hope if you have extra herbs or loads of chive in your garden and you don't know what to do just uh, some it. chive and garlic salt so thank you for watching guys and see you soon